Once upon a time, Studio C did a compilation of all of their fairy tale sketches. And you watched it. And you lived happily ever after. Because it was awesome. Enjoy! <laughs> Introducing the three most excellencies, the three good fairies. Mistress Flora, Mistress Fauna, and Mistress Merryweather. Each of us the child may bless with a single gift, no more, no less. Little princess, my gift is the gift of beauty. Tiny princess, my gift will be the gift of song. I am so sorry, I misunderstood. <clears throat> it's a pack of onesies. Fauna, what in the world? I'm sorry, I guess I missed the memo we were giving her attributes. Just think of one you can give her now. Any attribute. There's so many to choose from. Fauna, come on. You're making us look bad. Mm. The gift of sight. She already has sight. Give her something she doesn't have. The gift of a tail? No. Um, the gift of being able to sneeze with your eyes open. But why would you say that? I just read an article that said it's impossible and I want her to reach for the stars. Fauna, something <gasps> else. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how great of gifts beauty and song are. What are your largest dreams for her to become Miss America? Just calm down. Try again. Fine. The gift of never needing to bathe. Gross. The gift of double-jointed elbows. No, no. The gift of gluten tolerance. What? Mm, the gift of being able to find great shoe sales. Oh. No. Um, the gift of being able to pull off blunt bangs. I had that gift once. Uh, no, she did not. The gift of being homely, that she may have a good home. That's not what homely means. The gift of having giant biceps. No. The gift of no. never needing to shave your legs. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Because you don't mind the hair. Ugh. Did you ever get gifts growing up? The gift of having many Twitter followers. Fauna. No wonder Santa Claus fired you. The gift of having your own reality TV show. Fauna. The gift of waking up exactly one minute before your alarm clock. Ah, uh, uh, nah! The gift of being an assertive woman and not intimidating men. <gasps> yes. Yeah. No. No. Oh, the gift of saving 15% or more on car insurance. No. The gift of being able to pick your nose at an intersection and never being caught, even when you dig down really deep. Enough. Just. Give her the gift of grace, or poise, or the ability to answer questions. Oh, I see where the Miss America thing comes in now. Oh no, Maleficent has come to curse the babe. Good thing Fauna hasn't bestowed her gift yet. Maybe she can counter the curse. Was this a curse thing? Oh, I brought onesies. Oh. That is very cute. Cute! Did you get it too? It was on their registry, right? <gasps> cute! Once upon a time in a land filled with flowers, I said filled, lived a king and a queen and their daughter. She was cursed, you see. When she turned 18, she got ugly instead of hotter. Now that I'm of marrying age, I must choose a husband. Good thing you're rich. Then who should appear but a man with a beard who proudly proclaimed... I volunteer. She gave him her hand, he gave her his shoulder. <laughs> and quickly they left to be wed. <laughs> but the king did forget an important secret, so the queen leaned over and said... Darling, that's the wizard who cursed our daughter. Oopsies. The king then petitioned every night for a mission to rescue the ugly young lass. The knights all agreed she was far too ugly, so together they said, We'll pass. I'll do it. This sobering tale. I'm sorry, what? I'll rescue the princess. You? Me. 
You. Me. Really. Why is that so hard to believe? You're sickly, untested, and frail. Nonetheless, I can fight as well as our strongest knight. Oh, really? Then someone punched you in the gut. Oh! Oh, why? To prove a point. And no one lived happily ever after. I'm going. Someone kicked you. Oh, no! Ow! I'm saving the princess and you can't stop me. We'll see about that. Bring it on. The hero met a thief who caused him some grief and stabbed him in the gut. Oh, oh that didn't even rhyme. Three dollars, really? I'm poor. The next task he should face would start at the base of a mountain which he would climb. Oh, my kidney. While holding his breath. I'm gonna breathe. You can't make choices for me, I'm the protagonist. Well, I'm the narrator. Then his legs stopped working. Oh. <sighs> I hate you. While he lay helpless, completely defenseless, a troll came along feeling hungry. The troll swung his club to grab him some grub and hit the dumb knight on the head. Damn! <laughs> Still got my soul. So your arm stopped working. Come on. You had enough? Never. Then you contracted the plague. Ugh. Then you were shot by an arrow. Woo! Then your mouth tasted like a foot. A diseased foot. Ah, I'm coming, princess. You sure are determined, despite all the hassle. They magically appeared at the Dark Wizard's castle. I can't believe that worked. What is going on? It's one of my father's knights. Yes, I've come to rescue you. Whoa. You are not ugly anymore. The curse was lifted, but I didn't think anyone would try to save me when I was hideous. Well, that was the plan. Sorry, I tried. All right, wizard, let's fight to the death. I may not be able to use my arms and legs, but I'm not afraid to do this. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> Cast a spell or something. I only know how to make people ugly. Well, do that, then. Shouldn't I oh, Am I hideous? You look the same. Well, there's only so much I can do. Wizard, we're through. I want to marry this man. Figures. So the two started courting with much joy and much <laughs> laughter, and they both lived happily ever after. She punched him in the face. Oh. At last, the Tower of Rapunzel. <clears throat> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> What's going on, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking for Rapunzel? Yeah, that's me, Prince Rapunzel. <laughs> hey, you can call me the puns. <laughs> well, I've made a mistake. I'm gonna get going. Oh, wait, hey, man, do you like foosball? You should come up real quick. I've got a, a pool table and a remote control shark blimp. And, oh, have you played the new Mario Kart? You have the new Mario Kart? Yeah. You gotta try it, man. Oh, the anti-gravity was so not overhyped. I, I don't know, I have to quest and stuff. Uh, so. Just come up for like five minutes. Uh, I've got Strawberry Nesquik. Strawberry Nesquik, I love that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'll come up, man. Yeah. Really? Uh, awesome, I'll throw down my hair. Okay. <laughs> oh my, what the, what? <laughs> Awesome, man. Come on up. This is going to be so great. I haven't seen anybody since I've never seen anyone. <laughs> hey, the puns, do yeah. you have another set of hair maybe lying around? <laughs> Pretty gnarly, right? Yeah. yeah, I haven't cut it since I was born, and it's really long and hard to clean, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just it's full of leaves and dirt and... Is this a bag of Doritos? <laughs> man, I don't know what's in there, man. Doritos, Fritos, Cheetos, all the Eatos. <laughs> hey, you want to meet my hamster? Oh, that's disgusting. What? Oh, it oh, lives hey, in there? Come on up, bro. The bagel bites are done. Bagel bites too, man? Okay, yeah, I'll be up in a moment. Whew, you can do this. You can do this. Oh, it smells like a chimpanzee's body cast. <laughs> hey, what's taking so long, bro? It's just a little slippery. I'll be right there. Wait, did I not let down enough hair? Uh, no, it seems there plenty. Oh, no! Oh, 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 
Oh, you got it in my mouth. You got it in my mouth. Oh, it's like swallowing a diaper. Oh. Hurry up, dude. <laughs> Yo, she isn't going to drive himself. Okay, man. okay. <laughs> I think your hamster just bit me. Bro, I would ask you not to disturb him in his slumber. He will be threatened. Come on. Oh, hey, did you hurt yourself? Touch my hair real quick. No, he's still in just there. Just dress me. Okay. Flower gleam and glow. <laughs> Let your power show. Dude, what are you, this is weird. What are you doing? Just hold it and I'll sing. You can brush it if that helps. How is that wow. less weird? No, man, I'm just gonna use this Band-Aid I found. Nope, that's used. I'm out of here. Oh, oh, wait, dude, what? No, why? Because you are the grossest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I'm not climbing this hair, all okay? All right, man, just, all right, just use my rope ladder. <laughs> you had a rope ladder? Yeah. You said let down your hair, not let down your rope ladder. <laughs> I live in a tower, dude. Of course I have a ladder. Then throw down your rope ladder. Right on. <sighs> awesome, man. Yeah, now we can talk about like girls, like what's a girl? <laughs> Is this ladder made out of your hair? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, my dear. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, what seems to be the trouble? The king? He says that unless I spin all this straw into gold, he will have me killed. Oh, my. Quite the predicament. You know... I may be able to help. Oh, really? That would be wonderful. My name is Sarah. What's yours? Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, dang it. Ah, oh, totally. Ah, I can't believe I did that. Fetch. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, it's just this thing. I, I sometimes make deals with people and then they want to back out of it later. And I'm like, that's fine if you can guess my name. But they never do, because it's crazy weird. <laughs> my parents were hippies. I'm sorry. That's oh, fine. I'll just have you guess my social or something. So, can you help me? Uh, yes, yes. But for a price. I'll give you anything you want. Oh, even your firstborn child? Deal. What? No! <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> No one ever agrees to that. It's just a mind game. I'm not qualified to be a parent. I live in the woods under a log. It's not even a good log. Well, too bad. We already shook on it. Are you kidding me? You're holding me to this? <laughs> what? Bartering my child makes me a bad mother? Yes! <laughs> well, fine. Deal canceled, then. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Remember, you have to guess my name. Oh, that's right. It was something weird. Mm -hmm. Is it Steve? What? <laughs> no. I give up. One guess? Yeah. Your unborn child is on the line and you give up after one guess? So are you going to spin all this straw into gold? <laughs> oh, fine, I guess I have no choice. To be honest, it's been a while since I've done this. Is this plug into an outlet or... Well, it's a manual, okay, that's primitive. All right, I get some straw here. Prepare to have your mind blown. Here we go. Spin it. I don't know how to do this. But you said... I know what I said. Sometimes I overestimate my talents. Uh, well, you better figure it out. Do you want that firstborn child or not? No, I don't. <laughs> but we made a deal. Where's your integrity? My integrity? You don't exactly have the moral high ground here. You traded your child like a baseball card. Uh, we don't have time for this. All right, fine. Let me think, you harpy. Uh, this isn't easy, you know. We're turning straw into a flipping metal. 
How hard can it be? How hard? No, you're right. I just have to change the atomic structure of the straw through nuclear fusion. Just let me get my centrifuge. Well, you better figure it out, or else I'm going to give you my second child, too. I'm not a daycare service! All right, how about this? I'll go apply for a loan, come back with the gold, we'll spread it around, and feed the straw to a cow. Fine. Uh, I'm going to have to take out a second mortgage on my log. Thank you, Rumplebuttskin. <laughs> Just call me Steve. Today, my king, your son, the Prince Peter, will choose his bride from amongst these fair maidens. Proceed, Prince Peter, and may heaven bless you in your choice. Thank you, my king. May I present the Princess Lady McNavisham. The Lady. Princess Rose Everstain. Rose. And the Princess Teresa Madalini. You may call me Terry. Oh, <laughs> Miss Terry. Huh. That every man in the kingdom adores your beauty is no Miss Terry, Miss <laughs> Terry. <laughs> and Rose. A rose by any other name would still smell as sweet. <laughs> and dear lady, lady, la lady is your first name? Ah, ah. <laughs> Thou art a beautiful lady. <laughs> and now the prince will choose. Ah, to choose. But how can I choose when on the one hand, with you, everything is coming up roses. <laughs> but what a terrible mistake it would be not to choose you. You who would make my life so terrific. <laughs> and you are so ladylike. I think it's between these two. No offense, lady, it's, your name is throwing me off. And now the prince will choose one for his bride. Ah, yes, I must choose one. And, and I will choose she who has rows of men lined up to marry her. The prince has chosen. Whose beauty doth tarry my heart out. Wait, so which one? Hot then? as Terry Yaki chicken. Peter! <laughs> What is wrong with you? What's with all the puns? I, I'm sorry, my king. I, uh, father, I just get nervous. It, it happens, and I don't mean to, uh, Terry. Peter! <laughs> Which princess do you choose? Sorry. I, I must choose before I put the whole room into hysteria. <laughs> But it will take more than a Mike Rose second. <laughs> when I first saw you, my heart nearly froze. <laughs> but I also felt it in my R. Terry's. <laughs> choose now! Yes, I'm sorry, I will choose. I have chosen. And I will forever show her off to my bros. <laughs> you make me weak in the knees, like osteoporosis. <laughs> Would you accept my proposal <laughs> if the opportunity arose? Yes, my prince, and my love for you will never peter out. Oh! <laughs> wow. You two make a lovely couple. My dear, you are so sweet. As sweet as marmalade, D. Oh, I just thought of another one. We have to start over. Bring Lady back. Oh, oh this is going to be so fun. Okay. Just hold on. Okay, I know how this looks and I'm sorry. You see, these guys told me they were weaving an invisible cloth and if you couldn't see the cloth, well, supposedly you were a fool. And I hear myself saying that now, but anyways, thank you, sir, for pointing that out to me. I hope I haven't scarred you for life. 
All we wanted was a family outing to see the royal parade. And all we get is this crusty solvent streaking. Do you think my wife will ever want to see a parade again? My eyes! <laughs> I think we should consider replacing the king. Yeah. yeah! I mean, are you even fit to rule this kingdom? I am fit. I promise I am. So there aren't any other odd behaviors or strange decisions you want to tell us about? No. I mean, nothing huge. Uh, I may have burned all your spinning wheels. Oh, what? what? But that was to protect my daughter from being cursed by Maleficent. Our only export is textiles! How are any of us going to survive after this? You can have my money. I locked my wife in a tower years ago because I heard she could spin straw into gold. <laughs> Who told you that was possible? The girl's father? Is he some sort of alchemist? He was the town drunk. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, what? she did do it. That was me, you fool! Me! Rumpelstiltskin! Oh, dang it! <laughs> Get it together, Rumples! There, there. <laughs> Our king is a reckless idiot! I vote we remove him from his throne! Yeah! Oh, think of all the good that I've done! Remember how I rid the town of rats by hiring the Pied Piper of Hamlin? But then you didn't pay the piper, so he took all of our children! <laughs> well, who likes children anyway? <laughs> Surely there must be someone in the royal family fit to lead? I speak to my mirror and I murder people who are prettier than me. I'm only a princess because I found a pee under my mattresses. I used to be a frog. <laughs> what kind of freak show is this? I don't I don't know know this listen to me, listen to me! Everything's going to be all right because I've traded the entire kingdom for this bag of magic bees. You had the... Wait, did he say beans or bees? Everyone <laughs> hide! The magic has enhanced their venom! My babies! Oh, ancient mirror of mystery and wisdom, through fire and wind I summon thee! Come forth! What wouldst thou know, mighty queen? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is fairest of them all? Ah, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Excuse me? I am an all-knowing mirror, yet you ask me the same silly question every day. I literally know the cure for cancer, just ask! <laughs> Tell me who is most fair of them all or I will dispose of you. I am not about to be not most fair in all the land. I have done unspeakable things to get these cheekbones. <laughs> Fine. You, mighty queen, are the fairest of them all in this room. Because I'm technically not a person. Enough. Tell me if I'm more beautiful than Snow White. Snow White? The 18-year-old with the perfect skin? <laughs> Honey child, you chose the wrong person to compare yourself to. Come on now. I mean... I do yoga, I work hard. Well, do you do yoga while aging backwards because you're competing against things like time and gravity and more time. You're right, I set impossible standards for myself. No, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, for real though, you look great for someone your age, which is like a thousand, give or take. It's very hard to keep up appearances. I had to give up bathing suits about 300 years ago. Ooh, I know. Happiest day of my life. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> yes. Mm, uh. I am running out of options here. All I can do is take out the competition. So if a, no offense, super duper duper old woman is competing with an 18-year-old with a high metabolism for pies, there is something seriously wrong. I mean, just don't compare apples and oranges, especially saucy apples with old, decrepit, ancient, mean oranges. But without my beauty, what am I? That girl, without your beauty, you are, um, you are, ooh, uh, that's, a, that's a good point. You see, I have done nothing with my life. I am nothing but skin and bone and a huge amount of duct tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your true value, my queen, is on the inside. Yes, the inside. Do you really think so? I have no other idea where it could possibly be, so yes. You're right. 
Thank you, Mirror. Yeah. I should just let me be me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, ooh. ooh, she looked worse from the back. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Snow White. Yeah. Okay. A dream is Cinderella. A yes. Nice. <gasps> they all have very high voices. They do. Fun oh. fact. Keep watching. Keep watching. And now a tale of sorts from the Brothers Grimm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have traveled far to bring you our newest tale. <laughs> it is called Snow White. Oh, oh, yes. Snow White. Snow White. Snow White. Good. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a young lady. Hold on now. What does once upon a time mean? I mean, I'm no literary expert, but I, I find that introduction a bit perplexing. Yeah. Hey, can anything be upon a time? I mean, it's conceptual metaphysical reference. Oh. Right, you can be on time, but not upon a time. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is this? A story about someone who sits on a clock? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say the opening line feels a bit didactic to me. Yeah, I concur. Didactic. Look, we're the writers here, so I think we'd be the ones who knew how to begin a story. Quiet. Oh, what's the phrase even mean? I just get lost in all the prepositions. There's only one preposition. Well, I think what my neighbor's trying to say is that the motif of your story might get lost in such a vague use of metonymy. Yeah, exactly. I concur with that. What if you started the story with a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? Yeah. Yeah. Then we'd at least know the story's fictional setting. Yeah. Hey, call me Ishmael. Ishmael. No, for it's the opening line. Oh, a direct first person introduction would definitely cause your audience to ponder their extra fictional relationship to your protagonist. I concur, all heartedly, yeah. Do you understand anything we're saying? I concur. So, no. What about the line, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times? How about, I'd never given much thought to how I would die? Sounds annoying. Yeah, no, I definitely concur. How about, Harry Potter was an highly unusual boy? <laughs> or, it is the truth. Universally acknowledge that a single man in possession of a well, I'm just gonna stop you there. I'm already bored. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it. In a hole in the ground there lived a hobbit. What on earth is a hobbit? I don't know, you're the writers. <laughs> yeah, well, gentlemen, I think we all agreed you need to be willing to kill your darlings on this one. All right, I, I, I don't understand how you groundlings seem to know so much about writing. Well, we read our share street signs. And that makes you qualify. <laughs> We're critics. We don't need to be qualified. <laughs> no, I can't stand for this. When we are finished, every household will know the phrase once upon a time. Oh, but... that'll be the proverbial day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We can go where we are appreciated for our aesthetic talent. <laughs> that means. <laughs> Say, brother, that uh, Hobbit line did have a bit of potential. But perhaps we could write a short story and then stretch it into two, maybe three movies. I don't know what a movie is, but I concur. Quiet. She can only be awoken by true love's kiss. Whoops! Gets to your eyeball. <laughs> so, sorry, I got nervous and my eyes were closed. So. <clears throat> yeah. To be perfectly honest, I've never really kissed a girl. <laughs> so, you know, especially one that's unconscious. <laughs> uh, you are unconscious, right? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no pressure then. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a mint. You want a mint? Let's have mints. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, look. Last one. <laughs> Guess it's all mine. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um. So, is, is this true love's kiss thing like a, like a peck or one of those five minute things? <laughs> Do I just. Like this? Okay. 
Oke. Okay. Oh, 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 what is that? Like a thousand years of morning breath? Mm. I can't believe I'm out of mints. Or am I? No, that's gross. <laughs> But we are gonna kiss. We haven't kissed yet, though. You never have to know. <laughs> Just don't choke on it. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of a bad choking hazard. Uh, um, ooh. you have a garbage or something? I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Oh, look, you got mouthwash. <laughs> Just use some of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh-huh. And swish it around. <laughs> And spit. <laughs> Gross. Ugh. Okay, well... You know, um, no more blunders. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, okay. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh, gross. Oh, it's on your face. I don't want to kiss that. I'm just gonna wipe it off, okay? Um. Ah! 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 Candle! Fire! Ah! 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 How could I be this bad at kissing? Okay. Okay, princess. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay. Uh, uh, one. Uh, okay. Uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, Okay. Uh, okay. We're good. Everything's got all. Okay. okay. Nobody saw that. I could take that to my grave and still feel like a man. Okay. Here we go. Ah! No. For being asleep for so long, princess, your breath was absolutely minty fresh. <laughs> hey, uh, Tom, Janice hired two new part-timers, so I need you to show one the ropes back here while I show the other one front of house stuff. Okay, no problem. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, come in. Hello, I'm Gretel. Hi, I'm Tom. Let me show you around. Over here is where we mix up dough, okay? Over here is our walk-in freezer. Oh, it's cold. And right here is our oven. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's going on? Hansel! Hansel, come here! Oh. What is it, Greta? It's... with the oven. What? Answer me! I, it's just for cooking pizza, man. It is for cooking pizza and man. No, yeah, no, not both. <laughs> Then which is it you are cooking? Pizza or man? Pizza, just pizza, okay? Okay, right, be right with you. Um, Tom, we are getting swamped there. Okay, normally I would deal with this, but we don't have time right now, so just clean this all up, because if Janice gets here and sees it, she's gonna be mad. She can be a real witch sometimes. <gasps> a, a witch! witch! Oh, why does this keep happening? Oh, why did I get 
get sucked in by the candy dish by the register. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Come, Gretel. We will follow the breadcrumbs. Yes. What have you done? Now we must use Apple Maps. They're doomed. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, no. Here comes Janice. Oh, Janice, I'm so sorry about the mess. The two new hires just quit. It's a shame I was looking forward to having them for dinner. You mean having them over for dinner? I said what I meant. I can't believe it. It's really you. Yes, it's me. I never thought I'd find you. I've searched the whole kingdom. I'm it starting... fits me too. I'm sorry? Look, it fits. Gretchen, go away. What? You think you're better than me with your fancy house and your multiple teeth? <laughs> I'm confused. Who is this? Your future wife. No, Gretchen, I was the one he danced with at the ball. How does he know? The woman he danced with had a makeover so intense it literally required magic. <laughs> she makes a fair point. This is ridiculous. You weren't even at the ball. Sure I was. Prove it. Good idea, lowly servant girl. Madam. <laughs> At the ball, was I wearing my white suit with gold buttons and black knee-high boots, or my pajamas? Sue! <gasps> it's you! No! I would have said suit, too! Well, that's convenient, now that you already know the answer. I can prove it! We danced, you said I was pretty, and then I left. Aha! We danced, I meant I was pretty, and then the woman left. Busted. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. That proves it. She's the one. No, Gretchen, Ooh. you're ruining everything. Don't put this on me. He's the one who won a huge life decision on footwear. It's very important to me that my queen is small of feet and mind. You want irrefutable evidence? I have the other slipper. <gasps> that can't be another slipper. I was only wearing one because of my stump leg. Oh. <laughs> that explains why you were so bad at dancing. Mm. Hey. I think we're done here. No, Prince, I deserve to live happily ever after. <laughs> you think marrying me will solve all your problems and finally bring you happiness? Well, you're right. I'm amazing. Come, Gretchen. <laughs> so long, Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella? That was the name of the woman I danced with. Cinderella's me little name. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. So, uh, is this the place where the fair maiden Snow White resides? Yes. Ah, great. Okay. So, I'm the prince, and I've come to awaken her with true love's kiss. Oh. Well, she's been out for quite a while. Oh, yeah? Uh, how long has she been asleep? She's not asleep. She's dead. What? <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah. She's been dead for a long time. I, I think she's starting to turn. <laughs> I can... I can, I can still awaken her with true love's kiss. I mean, if you want to. But... <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, the glass was a mistake. She, it was like a greenhouse effect in there. It's nasty. Good luck. I'm not, that, I'm not that desperate. Okay, I am that desperate, and I hate how I know myself so well. Okay, you know what? This will just be a hilarious story we tell our kids one day. How we met kissing a corpse. <laughs> but but it, it'll be funny. See, it's just one big funny story, and we'll all laugh. Oh, 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 oh sweet Caroline, that stench. Oh, oh, it's lodged in my throat. Oh, okay. Just a funny story. Just one big funny. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I just gotta figure out a way to get rid of that awful smell. I could burn off my taste buds. Yeah, I don't need to enjoy food when I have a fair maiden as my wife. What about pineapple? I love pineapple. You know, I have some air freshener for when I need to use a public restroom. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> 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 that 
stings. <laughs> but you know what? You're kind of attractive after you get over the smell. <laughs> oh, so hello, I'm the prince, and you are my new... Oh! <laughs> Looky here! <laughs> it's a severed limb! <laughs> So that will just reattach when we kiss. <laughs> okay, I hope you weren't left-handed. <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna prop you up now, and we can just, oh, 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 hello, oh, nope. Just leave this here, leave this here, okay. Uh, prep your mouth, I'll prep your mouth, okay? Mm -hmm. oh! Maggots. <laughs> Then. Okay, okay, you can do this, Prince. You got this. It's just a girl, a dead girl who kind of smells like a wrestling mat, burst some roadkill, but you know, just get it over with. It'll all be okay. 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 Here we go. Yep. Oh, well, let's just. Okay, extra measures. <laughs> uh, and hello. Oh, oh, girl, I don't know. Okay, okay. Okay, just close your eyes and think of England. Yep. Snow White, I love you! Oh, oh. Mm. Oh, oh, Doc! Oh. You can call me the love doctor. Come on! <laughs> well, you did kiss me, so I'm legally your property. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> I'm so lonely. A dollar. Nice. Oh, no. What? Why? Oh. What are you? Oh, oh, so gross. The... I don't even have a shoe that matches this one. Man, what else is lurking in this couch? What the holy... Man, this is probably why my back always gets poked. A record of the people of Couchville are life and times between the cushions. What is going on? <laughs> ah! 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 Where am I? Who are you? And what are you doing in my couch? Why, I live there, of course. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Oh, you found it. Thank you. I am Keen Warwick. Sower of seams, keeper of Febreze, and wielder of the wand of numbers. It's my remote. We use it to help silence the wretched sirens of the bachelorette. <laughs> I've ruled and reigned in your couch for about 50 years now. 50 years? The couch is that old? Wait, that's an insane amount of time. You wouldn't have to have been born in the couch. I was. Oh, gross. <laughs> Wait, what? I was born and raised in your coach. And you're Scottish? Well, I used to be Swedish until you sprayed the Scotch guard. Is that my shirt? Probably. Everything I own is stuff that you've dropped in there. I dropped a full set of clothes and a purple cape in the couch. I need to reevaluate my life. Warwick! Oh, oh. Uh, what? Oh, there you are. Allow me to introduce me uh, wife, Queen Iona. Uh, so do I call you your majesty or? Aye. Okay. 
But how do you live? I mean, what do you eat? Oh, we've always had more than plentiful amounts of food, from chips of the potato to melted m ms though we wouldn't mind if you dropped a few fruits and vegetables every once in a while. Oh, uh, yeah, I must have eaten all of those. Um... <laughs> But do I really drop that much stuff into the couch? Aye, enough to sustain the entire kingdom. The what? Oh, oh. 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 hello there. Hi. Sire, I'm afraid the peasants in the Heidebert Highlands are asking for a better sewage system. Very well. Take some money from the treasury and get started. You have money too? Aye, our currency consists of your loose change. My loose change? How much have I dropped? Eighty million dollars. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. We have also been bequeathed the leather fold of destiny and the jangly medals of freedom. Oh, my wallet and car keys. No! But I need those to drive and live. How dare you violate our trust. The people of Couchville are very generous, but when you threaten to steal our greatest treasures... Look, I'm sorry, but you people oh, are just... Barged. You people? What's that supposed to mean? I think he means grubby couch people, my queen. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean oh, it like no, that. Oh, no, we get it. We're not from the other side of the kitchen like you. Okay, don't make this a don't make this a couch class thing. How dare you look down your nose at us? I'm sorry, I'm just not comfortable with couch Narnia. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this, but when you mess with the people of Couchville, the people of Couchville have no choice but to retaliate. <laughs> Struggling. Festive. There you go. Ah. <laughs> it seems our kingdom is safe once again, my lord. Indeed. Hello, King of Couchville. My old foe. I thought I banished you a long time ago. The Ottoman Empire will rise again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my lords and ladies, to the fifth century future King of Britain debates. I, Sir Ector, have the honor of being tonight's moderator between King Hopefuls, Sir Eric, and Sir Arthur. Let's begin, shall we? <laughs> As future king, how would you help our nation escape the Dark Ages? Eric, your squire killed Arthur, so you may respond first. Knowledge will be the key. I will promote reading, mathematics, arts, and science to everyone, especially the youth, in the form of a public education system. Hmm. Interesting. Arthur, same question. Well, unlike my opponent, I believe that actions speak louder than words. Well, what, what is he? Oh, oh, oh. 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 I know I'm supposed to remain uh, nonpartisan, but what an amazing response from Arthur. That was <laughs> impressive. Okay. <clears throat> uh, next question. Uh, how would you help our nation avoid another black plague? Eric? Um, awareness. I will run a campaign to teach peasants the importance of hand washing before food consumption, hmm. which will save millions of lives. Arthur, do you agree? That sounds good on parchment, but tis a cheap solution to the real problem. If we are indeed serious about plague prevention, then we need someone who is willing to do this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, how on earth is pulling a sword out of a stone helpful for anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet, simple Eric. Tis so much more than a sword in the stone. Tis a metaphor. <laughs> now try to keep up. You see, the sword represents a sharp, pointy object used as a weapon. And the stone represents a rock. <laughs> Such beautiful insight. The stone really is like a rock. Okay. <laughs> Not a metaphor. Synonym. Um, education could help with... Listen, I don't think Sir Arthur has any clue about any of today's issues. I mean, how, how is he going to resolve our war with the Vikings? Oh, yes. Oh, that's uh, important. Simple. I shall um, build the I I internal uh, infrastructure <laughs> and... Um, uh, str uh, preemptive st strategies. Good plan, good plan. I think I've proved my point. Speaking of points... Yeah. Yes, we can! Is there any logical person among you 
The wise wizard Merlin, thou can see the future. Can you please tell everyone how ridiculous Sir Arthur's plan would turn out to be? It is ridiculous. The accurate. <laughs> it is exactly how it will shake it down. <laughs> Arthur, I will be your mentor. Though, you can pull that sword from that stone, so you probably don't even need me. <laughs> <laughs> Has everyone gone mad? Our kingdom needs a true leader. How is Sir Arthur going to stop the corruption that's infiltrated the Knights of the Rectangular Table? Tis simple. <laughs> I shall make the table round. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not the shape of the table that's caused the corruption. Sir Lancelot, can you back me up here? Tis true. Um, for the last few years, we knights have stolen, cheated, fought amongst ourselves. See, as I foretold. All for the glory of sitting at the head of the Rectangular Table. But now that the table is round, it's like, what ifs? <laughs> These debates are so idiotic! <laughs> Wait until 2016. All hail King Arthur! Hail, hail King, King Arthur! Arthur. Yes, wow. And they lived happily ever after. Now subscribe! Comment below about what your favorite sketch was and like the channel while you're at it. That's right, have a magical day.